when you're headed off to states? Um, well, I am sitting here with uh, a whole bunch of middle schoolers that are getting ready to make this trip. Mm -hmm. um, our percussion ensemble is going to Charleston. We leave uh, Thursday the 2nd, and we perform in Charleston um, on the thir March 3rd. How many members of your band? There will be 11 kids going to Charleston. And how did you get to this point to, how to, to be selected to go? Um, all of these kids here, guys, why don't you all say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, all of these kids here uh, volunteered to be part of this percussion ensemble, um, and we kind of listened to a couple of pieces on the Internet that we thought would be interesting to try to play, and we picked one. And in December, we started working on the different parts, and uh, we came back from Christmas break and really started working hard. Um, in January, we performed in our regional solo and ensemble festival mm -hmm. um, put on through the West Virginia Music Educators Association, and we were fortunate enough to receive a superior rating at that festival. And getting the superior rating qualifies us to send a recording to the state level. And there were over 100 uh, ensembles who were given superior ratings across the whole state of West Virginia. And we were one of them that was selected to perform at states. Is Eric Mosey with you? Eric Mosey is here. <laughs> All right. I understand Eric Mosey has been selected as one of the 12 finalists. Yes, he was. Tell us about. Eric, you want to say hello? Hi. Hi, Eric. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about Eric. Um, Eric is a phenomenon, I think. Right, guys? Eric, yeah. Eric's the man. Yeah. Um, Eric is a brilliant uh, keyboard percussionist, and he chose a solo uh, all on his own. He's playing. Is it by Haydn? Yeah. A piece by Haydn that's been transcribed for marimba, and. He learned his piece and memorized it and has done really good work for it. And so he performed his solo at the same festival and same process. He received a superior rating and got chosen to perform at States all by himself. John Gilstrap. So the performance that you're going to, uh, to, perf to do as, uh, in, in this program, is it like a drum line or is it the percussion line of a larger ensemble? This would be like all of the concert uh, percussion instruments that you would see in like a regular concert band or orchestral uh, setting. So we have um, uh, marimba. What else do we have, guys? Marimba, xylophone, vibraphone, timpani, bass drum, um, cymbals, uh, temple blocks, all kinds of things. That must be very impressive and a lot of fun. Do you guys like it? Are you having a good time? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to get that timpani into the marching band, though. Uh, yes, they're they're pretty heavy. Landon, you want to carry your timpani around on the field, on the marching band field? Sure. Uh, he says he'll do it. Put it on a trailer, and, and you're all set. Oh, it's an old Woody Allen know. joke. There, I right? know. Yeah. It's just, but, yeah, Matt Harvey. Heather, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and and why you chose the path you did? Oh my goodness, I wasn't ready for this question. Um, I graduated from Shepherd in 2010 with a music ed degree. Um, shortly after graduating, I started uh, teaching at St. Joseph's School here in Martinsburg. I taught at St. Joe's for 10 years and had a wonderful time there. Um, it's a fantastic school and um, did lots of f fun things there. Um, right around the pandemic time, I uh, left St. Joe's to get into the public school um, and a couple years later found myself here at South Middle School and um, this particular group of students has always been um, a really great group of kids and I just felt like um, they would be able and willing to go above and beyond and so I asked them if they would be interested in doing this percussion ensemble thing and this 11 or 12 kids were all in, and they've gone, just like I thought, above and beyond. We've played at some basketball games. Um, they had a great time doing that, and these kids just continue to impress. So um, I'm a percussionist, so it's easy for me to uh, step right into this with them. Um, but really, all the, all the band students here at South have been doing a great job, 
and it's just uh, really encouraging to see how far they've grown in, in the short time that I've been here. How much practice a week would you estimate goes into this? Um, well, I am lucky enough to see uh, all of my kids every day. So they have their regular class period of band um, every single day. Uh, these percussion kids have come after school for a little over an hour, once or twice a week, depending on what we have going on that week. Um, and some of them very obviously do extra work at home, too. Um, so hours, maybe a dozen hours a week, maybe. That sounds like fun homework, going home and playing music. I hope so. I hope it's fun homework. So, Heather, you got some traveling ahead of you, and I presume you got to eat and you got to stay someplace. How are you paying for all this? I'm super wealthy. Awesome. <laughs> of course, you're a teacher. <laughs> it's all on me. No, um, I don't know, actually. Um, we all of, Most of the kids are traveling um, individually with their parents or their families. Um, we do have to feed them once we get down there, and we're one of the farthest uh, schools to get all the way down to Charleston. Um, right now we're figuring out how to get all of our percussion equipment down to Charleston, so I'm working on that. Um, we do have a, a small budget here at the school for the band, but this was like a surprise trip, um, so this wasn't necessarily included um, in any kind of budget planning or anything like that. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the first time um, a group like this has gone down to states from South Middle School. Um, so this was definitely not in the plan, but like a, a happy little surprise trip. Um, so we're just kind of making it work. Um, but if if anybody would like to help support us get there, it would definitely be really appreciated because I sent the kids a whole list of all the meals they'll have to pay for in just the, the two or three days we'll be down there. Um, and that adds up, and plus, you know, the travel and gas for all the parents, and um, most of us are staying two nights in a hotel, so it is going to put a lot on the parents and individual families, and hopefully um, if we continue um, working on things like this, we'll be able to go down there again another year, and maybe we'll be a little more financially prepared to to do that on our own, but... Anybody can call into the school um, and talk to our finance officer, and if they want to make a donation to the band, that would be awesome. That would certainly help us out. Do you happen to know the phone number of South Middle off the top of your head, Heather? If not, we can I look it up. And we'll look that up. Memorized, but we'll post it I on can Facebook. Look real quick. Yeah. Are you, are you doing any organized fundraisers? No, honestly, we found out. Well, do you guys Super Bowl Sunday? I don't remember what that date was. Mm -hmm. um, Super Bowl found, Sunday was the day we found out that we were headed down there. So we have a very, very short turnaround um, to do all of this planning. So there were no, like I said, this was a surprise trip. So there were no planned fundraisers in place, um, and just kind of sprung on us in a good way. So we're just making it happen. Well, congratulations, and uh, this takes place when? We will be leaving for Charleston on the 2nd, and we perform on the 3rd, March 2nd and March 3rd. So about two weeks. Okay, very good. Well, congratulations, and best of luck to you and all the kids in school there. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Good job, guys and gals. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Heather Noll at uh, South Middle there at 9 o'clock.